Thanks, Ella. Right now, police are investigating an unusual tragedy on Atlanta's southwest side. An ATV collided with an Atlanta fire truck. It happened late last night on Sylvan Road and Dill Avenue. CBS 46's Barmel Lyons is live with the story. Barmel, we know ATVs are not supposed to be on the road. What happened here? I mean, first, I want to take you right to this. You can see some people are out here actually paying homage, although not safe on these roadways. I do want to know, again, as you said, Haley, a tragic accident happened right here, right at the intersection of Hartford and Dill Avenue. Now, people are paying homage because a person lost their life last night because of a fire truck colliding with the ATV. This video was taken just moments after the collision. You can see paramedics working to revive him. And they're all trying to help him. This is a bad sight. It ruined my Christmas. It definitely left me scarred. Something I won't forget about. Mitchell Slayton says the day after Christmas is a silent one after a fire truck collides with the ATV. Before I could walk up my steps, like I had to tell the officers, everybody, hey, I live right here. Because he was literally right in front of my house. Officials say the fire truck was headed to a house fire when it slammed into an ATV coming from the opposite direction on Dill and Hartford Avenue. I know how dangerous that can be. Neighbor Efron Ventura says accidents like the one last night are too common. I see them all the time. They usually have no protection. They're riding in like regular t-shirts and they're just blasting down the street. Ventura tells me this neighborhood needs change. We have a lot of police enforcement around here, but I do wish they would step up because this has been going on for a while. This is not just something that's happened, you know, one in a, you know, one time. This has been going on for years. A couple of people I know saw him take his last breath. Peter Moon, who has experience riding ATVs, tells me there should be a safe place for them to ride. Some wealthy philanthropists ought to donate some land for him, you know, to, to have like a free motorbike park or something, you know. I mean, riding up and down the streets is dangerous. They're mostly young guys. Um, Ventura I think says although the situation is sad, it comes down to responsibility. It's a sad moment, but I think the, the biggest message they can get across is this all right. Like, I'm not just affecting myself if I die or if I get myself killed on Christmas. There's going to be more people than just me that I'm affecting.